Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with a little bit of a topic and a little bit of a question. Today, we are going to take a look at the difference between high lumen output and high candela. And when I say high candela, what I'm really saying is high lumen output, kind of medium lumen output in this day and age, kind of medium candela, not super high, but relative to each other. And what I'm trying to say is, well, here, the Nightcore EDC 37, compact, handheld, but this puts out 8,000 lumens of high blast, just nice blanket, the lumen shield, 8,000 lumens in the highest output. But here, this is the Streamlight ProTac HPX. It is not at all the same in terms of its philosophy. Maximum lumen output, 800 lumens. That is not a lot of lumens at all. It is literally one-tenth the lumen output of the Nightcore. However, looking at Candela, the difference, 105,000 Candela for the Streamlight, 37,550 maximum for the Nightcore. So in reality, when you're talking about it, even though there is one-tenth the lumen output for the Streamlight, we're talking almost triple, it's more than double, almost triple the Candela, which is the intensity of the light at distance. So my question today, and what we're going to look at, do you prefer lumens or Candela? So as we move through this video, you're gonna hear me talking about the Nightcore as lumens and the Streamlight as Candela. Now, of course, both of these have both lumens and Candela, I realize that. But we're gonna to refer to the Nightcore as that lumen beam where the Streamlight Candela, with that, let's get outside for some beam shots. Lumens, Candela. Lumens, pretty impressive. Candela, nice and punchy. Candela and lumens, but the lumens drop off. Candela keeps on punching. So what are you looking for? Hard to say, both are pretty cool. But at the same time, I got plenty of runtime left here with the Candela. And the lumens are sitting here resting, waiting to come back out for a while. And so that initial demonstration really does illustrate what is going on right now with the current flashlight market. The reality is LED technology is really advancing. This Nightcore EDC 37 has kind of in a way one of the newer LED technologies, but the problem is the heat dissipation just can't keep up quite yet. So flashlights that have the high lumen output are really struggling with their heat and temperature regulation, which is why this light turns itself off after a very short amount of time. Leaning on the button here, you'll see that it even as much as has that kind of little timer there. And as soon as that timer works its way all the way down, it regulates and it dims down the beam so that this doesn't overheat and kill the electronics. Companies such as Streamlight, and they do get kind of a lot of slack at times for being kind of older school in a way, they just stick to tried and true. And so instead of trying to put the like higher lumen output, they go the opposite direction and just kind of tweak things with Candela. And I appreciate that about them. And I do think that we need both types of mentality in this market so that you have people that are pushing the boundaries and really learning and creating new technologies, new LEDs, and finding ways to put more and more punch in smaller and smaller packages. And over time, the kind of heat dissipation should start to work itself out. But in the meantime, it's great that we have companies that are tried and true and kind of doing things that are more duty ready in a way and for the long-term use. So again, just seeing the difference between that high lumen output and the Candela punch. 
So let's get out there for some more beam shots. So first, with the night core, I'm not gonna have a lot of time on the highest mode in terms of lumens, which is the lumen shield. That's a full deep press. So I'm really gonna have very limited amount of time here, but this will show you what that full 8,000 lumens can do. So as I get on a deep press, holding the button down, this is that full lumen shield mode with the timer on the bottom. Now obviously very bright, but right away dimming down. Now with the stream light, completely different philosophy, only 800 lumens. But pressing the button in, here you can see that really tight hot spot still doing a fantastic job to illuminate across the shoreline. It doesn't appear to be as impressive. However, there is more light concentrated in the middle, which zooming into the scene, you can see has an excellent punch right in the middle and the ability to fully illuminate everything across the way. And yet the light stays on full brightness and it's barely heating up in my hands. So right away, one tenth the lumens, but more than double, kind of closer to almost triple the beam intensity and way longer runtime. So that's the first scene. So a deep press. Again, it's impressive, but you can see that the stream light actually punches through the night core and then outperforms it and the night core is almost unbearably hot in my hands it is now basically turning itself off almost you can see it's still on but it's not even shining all the way across the water so the night core oh oh it's trying night core on the right oh it's barely making it it's like hanging on and then the stream light on the left so again, lumens versus candela. And this becomes even more evident when you get into the lower lumen output. On the right, the night core, 100 lumens. So you can see there the 100 lumen output. On the left, the stream light, 45 lumens. And you can see as I pass the stream light through the night core beam that it's punchier. So even though lumens seem to be impressive, Candela outperforms it every time. Now on the right, 400 lumens with the night core. On the left, 240 lumens with the stream light. And the 240 lumens of the stream light punches right through the 400 lumens of the night core. And in fact, you can see the concentrated beam in the beam pattern. Look at how it makes almost like a cone of light. Whereas the night core, I'm like searching around even trying to find it. I'm kind of like lost in things. But that stream light punches right through. Two completely different philosophies. On the right, lumens. On the left, candela. Which would you prefer? One last time, 800 lumens on the left, 8,000 lumens on the right. But to me, the performance as the night core heats up and drops off, the stream light wins out. In my opinion, Candela is king. All right, so now I have a thermal camera set up, and I am going to get these on their highest modes. So for the night core, 8,000 lumens, depressing the button all the way in and getting on it all the way to the lumen shield. And then here for the stream light, I'm just simply going to turn the light on, and we're going to see how it looks on the thermal camera. Now I'm going to get the Streamlight started first, and now 
the Night Core. Ow, I can't even do that. <sighs> All right, there we go. And the Night Core dims down. Still going strong with the stream light. I'm gonna try to get the uh, heat to build up here on the Night Core to the best of my ability. Now, it's not gonna be happy with it because it doesn't like, you'll see it's just literally like dimming itself down right away, but kind of abusing it a little bit. And you'll see, it's it's not really going to do it. But if I just keep holding that button down, trying to build up the heat here to the best of my ability as quick as possible, and just seeing how much faster and how much more heat the uh, Night Core really does generate. So even though it's not perfect, it will give you a little bit of an indication here. And that shows you the heat between the 800 lumens and the 8,000. And so, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the difference between the night core and the high lumen output and the stream light in the high candela. Literally one-tenth the lumen output, but in my opinion, this is the way I would go. I just don't like the lack of overall performance with the Night Core. I would rather have that high intensity beam for longer for many different reasons. But when we back up to the whole fact that with the Night Core, it was intended on self-defense. I don't need eight seconds of self-defense. I need maybe more than that. I just simply don't know. So is eight seconds enough? Absolutely not. I would have to think that that full intensity blast, 105,000 candela, is going to be about as effective as the Night Core. And in fact, maybe even more. And especially given the fact that, well, with that intense blast coming off of the streamlight, it will sustain pretty much indefinite. I mean, a couple of hours without it overheating. I will take that. I think the Streamlight has better performance, in my opinion, but what do you guys think? Do you prefer Lumens or Candela? Weigh in in the description box below. To the people at Streamlight and Nightcore, thank you for providing these for review. And if you like what you see here today, look in the description box below where you can find your own Streamlight and Nightcore products. Thank you very much for following along. Take care now. I'll see you soon.